Uh, hey everyone, today I will be reviewing the Ravelli APGL4 uh, tripod with ball head. I chose this tripod and I actually received it as a gift. I chose it because I wanted a nice ball head tripod, but usually once you start looking at a nice Schizo or Giotto's or Vanguard, any of those nice brands, um, once you buy the tripod, and then once you get the ball head, you're looking at some serious money. So, this basically looked like the best option uh, as far as uh, a ball head tripod, a sturdy ball head tripod at a reasonable price. Um, so, for starters, it comes in this, which I've panned over to several times, it comes in this particular package here fairly long, fairly large package. Actually, there's another white box about the same size, which nests in there. And within that, there is this bag here, which has a few issues, which other reviewers have mentioned. Um, of course, the tripod itself, the ball head, which is detached in the package, and then the tripod itself, which right now I have fully extended. Oh, and an additional thing, which I have set up on a camera here, the camera does not come with this package, is a miniature uh, tripod, <clears throat> which as far as over here is my DSLR, Canon T2i. As far as that camera, this tripod is just about useless, but I have a small point and shoot, and as far as that is concerned, it works fairly well. It does have a ball head there, very cheap, you know, light ball head, but for for a specific purpose like holding a point and shoot i see no reason why that couldn't be fairly useful the uh the legs telescope just uh, sort of like an antenna so it does get fairly compact but anyway back to the review oh and the other thing in the package actually this is my own allen wrench the other thing is the two allen wrenches and an additional uh base plate which I have the other base plate right now is on my Canon T2i. So, um, why don't we just start from the top and go to the bottom. Basically, the ball head is really nice, all metal construction, feels very, very solid for what this tripod, for what the whole thing costs, about $80. Um, you get the feeling this is a really good bargain. Uh, let's start by putting the, let's just take a look at it here. It has several levels here. These ones have a circle, which the bubble is supposed to be inside of, on both sides. And then it has a spirit level uh, on this side. I think some people have complained it would be nice if it had another one for portrait mode. But anyway, it has three and, you know, they're very simple and they work well. Uh, as far as the ball head itself, here, this particular knob is a tensioner, so... Let's put the base plate in first here. When you slide this in, you're going to hear, oh, it's a little tight, so we'll loosen it up. You're going to hear a snap. That's this mechanism here holding the base plate. There it goes. And then to really uh, get that firmly in place, we just tighten this knob down here. And once you do that, it's really snug. It doesn't move at all. Now, on to the uh, ball head itself. Actually, just for starters, it screws on right here to this uh, central center shaft here. If you sort of hold on to the base, you can spin it off, and it spins off pretty easily. So, there's that. In case you want to put something else on there, just put the camera on itself, whatever reason you might have. But let's spin that back in place again. If uh, just kind of tighten it up a little bit there. <clears throat> um, now the ball head. I mean, just as far as this concerned, it's sort of a pistol grip, and it really works extremely well. You can go in any direction. Um, it has a little. Oh, another nice feature it has is if you don't want to go up and down, you can simply pull a little bit, and you can. It will twist. You can just go 
basically just spinning in a circle without going up and down at all. And that's separate from the ball head mechanism. That's down here. I don't know if you can see it. Let's see if we can see this. You can kind of get a feel for that there anyway. So that mechanism works really well. You can see there's a screw here that adjusts the tension of the ball head. I noticed after just playing with it for a little while it got a little bit loose. I just tightened that up and it gets really, really extremely steady. It's just really solid. It's not moving anywhere at all. Um, let, me, let me show you. I have my DSLR here and one thing to be careful of is this thing doesn't slide out. Once, once you release this pin on the left there, um, it really can slide out pretty quickly. So let that snap in place. It, it is steady there. It won't fall off, but be careful not to press that before you've tightened this up. So we're going to tighten that up. You'll see that begin to snug down. So this is my biggest lens right now. It's, it's just a 50 to 250 millimeter lens, or 55 to 55 to 250. It's not very heavy, but I mean, you're gonna see. I mean, whatever you want. This isn't even all the way tight, but this thing is just not going anywhere. Whatever angle, you just release that handle and boom, it's in place. So really no complaints there. Really, really nice, really nice mechanism. Um, moving along, one thing I did notice, this thing here, this raises a center post you loosen this and then you can raise the center post very simple that was first of all this is a tad bit loose I don't know why it doesn't affect the function but you can see I hear it a little bit there it, it functions perfectly well that was very dry and hard to turn at first I just put a little bicycle oil on there now it snugs up nice and I can loosen it easily everything um, the legs work really nice. They have a nice metal um, latch here. No problem with those. I did notice a reviewer say that some bolts and screws were loose on the tripod. I did have that experience. When I received it, after having read that, I went through and I did notice that some of them were quite loose. It's it's a really good idea. I mean, for it's it's once once you get it everything tightened up and every just every I dotted and T crossed, it's a nice it's a very nice device. But do go through. Make sure that you go through and just to make sure everything's tight. Yeah. These things standard here. You, uh, this is pretty much standard to all tripods. You can extend this out however you like. You can do that with any of them. I don't think that's anything particularly special about this tripod. And just push it back until it latches to do that. Um, last thoughts. This bag, not really a super high quality bag. It does hold the tripod fairly well. You can see, as other reviewers have said, you have to tilt. If you, you can put the whole tripod with the ball head into the bag. But if you do that, you have to sort of tilt the ball head 30 degrees, and then you kind of slip the, you zip it up a little bit, and then slip it over the zipper, and kind of tedious. What I started to do, I haven't really carried this around much, but this here is a pocket, it says Ravelli on it. I've been placing the ball head in there. It does make it a little awkward, because at that point, if you put the tripod in without the ball head, you've got a substantial amount of extra space in the bag which is not being used. Anyway, <clears throat> it's, it's for eighty dollars, you know, you can't expect everything. Um, it has rubber feet. Um, I think some people mention the smell of this type of rubber. It does have a little bit of a smell, not a big deal. These can be twisted. Once you twist them up um, to pass the foot there, the spike will extend, so if you're outside if you're outside, then you can uh, sort of dig into the dirt. So, I think that's about everything. Um, overall, I'm very, very satisfied with this. Don't, I measured it on a scale with the ball head, about 8.55 pounds, if memory serves me correctly. So not really a lightweight, 
but for what you can do, oh yes, and like many others, this has a screw here. You can um, put your camera on there, put the ball head on there, and then shoot from a much lower position. But anyway, a nice product, very solid, very well built. I presume it will give me many good years of service. Um, for $80, I did not really see anything that came close. Really, if and, and just this ball head, you know. If you want a nice, basically you get a nice sturdy tripod and then a nice ball head. Put it on a different tripod if you want, or a monopod, that's what I'm thinking. It is heavy. The ball head itself weighs just shy of two pounds. So, entire package, eight and a half pounds. A little bit big, but overall a nice product. Uh, enjoy.